yeah, and he was feared throughout the land. He, he was uh, probably um, renowned as being uh, the toughest player in, in the world, really. Uh, I used to watch him thinking, wow, this man's... He used to be like a bit unhinged, a bit of a nutter, really, which and that was that was appealing for me, you know, looking at him going, wow, is he is he a full quid, this fella? Um, but he, uh, I think his own teammates were feared of him as well at times. And, you know, this guy came with a reputation. And when you played against him, you understood why he had that reputation. You know, he was... Uh, he was into everything. He was, uh, you know, he was, he, he, he was bagging you while you was playing. He was smashing you. Um, I played in the semi-final of the World Cup for Wales against him, and he broke my jaw that game. I've actually got a picture on Twitter um, where he's raised the elbow. It's caught me in the in the jaw, and I got an airline fracture of the jaw halfway through the game. And uh, I think that was just his his welcome and his calling card. So uh, not only did he injure me, uh, he stood up to his reputation as well. Unbelievable. Just an absolute competitor and one who, again, just, you know, certainly put his body on the, on the line and, and put your body on the line as well. Um, you know, he could, he could whack on defence, you know, an unbelievable runner, great, great pace. Um, and, you know, he had that aggressive streak in him. Yeah. You know, I remember having a do with him in uh, Old Trafford in the, I think it was in, in, in the 97 series in the, in the Super League. Um, an unbelievable competitor. He's one of those guys that people used to name the dog after. They get like a mastiff, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was just a, he was just an animal on and off the pitch. He, um, you know, he carried himself so well. He was he was the leader of the Broncos there for for a long time, and um, I just think he was. Um, you know, if, if, if anything, he always had the back of his of his of his teammates, and being an opponent, he um, you know <laughs> he used to he used to he used to go for he used to go for the the so-called hardest um, you know forward in our forward pack, and um, you know he used to just rip he used to just rip us to bits. So. And now Gordon Callis on his maiden voyage as captain of the Maroons. The crowd roars. This could well be a record crowd for Lang Park. Or, and today or tonight, they're hanging from the rafters. Atmosphere is unbelievable. Let's go forward, make some easy yards for their backs, and then get a good kick away. Oh, gee, there's a punch up on in back play. Talis let three go. They all found the mark right on the button. Have a look at this. This is probably something that we shouldn't be highlighting, but watch this. Bang, bang, bang. Then another one. And they stood toe to toe and they let them go. Up they come in the defence line. The New South Wales Blues, the Wizard Blues, they put him away. And Lockyer goes to that left foot again. And it is with Tamana Tahu. Youngest player in the New South Wales side. Hodgson around to Carey. Hodgson lassoed by Tallis. Look at Tallis. Look at Tallis. He drags him over and out of the rectangular ring. More or less been coming to the left of the ground. For John Barrett Dummy one way game to Tallis. Tallis is over. Langer. Langer for Walters. Walters for Tallis. And Tallis is... He's walked 